Yeah, man. Man, you hate to see it, honestly. Like I know I'm I'm a biased Red Sox fan, but like injuries are something that are very serious and you know shouldn't be taken lightly. And plus I don't want the Yankee fans to get any excuses. Oh, we didn't have coal, we didn't have coal. Stop it. Please, please stop it. Garrett Cole, according to Talking Yanks, so this is the websites and Twitter pages that Yankee fans follow in religiously. Garrett Cole will miss at least one to two months and we'll see Dr. Neil L. Atre Atre Atrachi. Atre I don't even know. Hirachi, Dr. Hirachi. We'll see Dr. Hirachi in Los Angeles for further testing. No UCL tear has been detected, but there's a concern about the ligament. Now, this will definitely shake some things up. So, I don't know if y'all been reading the reports, but, you know, Garrett Cole, obviously his elbow has been injured. Judge saying he's been beat up and going through wear and tear of two months in the spring training. I don't know what they're doing down there in Florida, but the Yankees, they, they got to figure it out. Um... Yeah, like I, this is shaking some stuff up, and there have been now some inaccuracies with past videos that I had. So we're coming here today to, you know, sort of adjust my predictions in the brackets and, and the standings as well. So this was the old, I'll say old. ALE standings. Like I had these standings right here. And um yeah, these are no longer going to be accurate. I'm going to make an emergency executive decision to change these standings. So you had the Red Sox, Rays, Jays, Orioles, and Yankees, but obviously something has to change. So now we go to the next slide. And now we have my new and improved ALE standings. So this will be pretty quick. So first, we got none other than the Red Sox. You know what I'm saying? I gave them that win back. You know what I mean? It was 73 and 89. Now they're 74 and 88. They they might catch that dub when if, even if Giolito is out, you know, we might catch a dub against the Yankees. We'll sneak one out. So we got the Red Sox 74 and 88. Next. Now this might shock some people. I, I I remember. So I've been reading the comments on some of my videos. Oh, I read the comments on all my videos. You know this. And the more and more I thought about it, the more and more I was just like, you know what? They got to prove something to me. So I changed something for more than just one. The Toronto Blue Jays now moved from third to fourth. And I know y'all might be saying why. It's just because I thought about it and I was like, the Jays, are they really a 90-win squad? Are they really a 90-win squad? I, I don't know. I don't know. So now we go to the top three. Coming in third. That's right. That is absolutely right. Take it in right there. The New York Yankees, 89-73, not cracking 90 wins. Now, I know there are only, what, seven games less, but it could be way less. And I'm saying that because if they're getting beat up now in spring training, like, what, what happens when we get to, you know, late July, like, post-All-Star break? Like, are, are they going to be able to... Like, stop All-Star break and then pick it right back up when, you know, Judge, they're already saying, you know, Boone's like, oh, we're going to have Judge miss some games. You know what I mean? I mean, they do have the pieces, but I don't know, man. This just seems like a, a ragtag, like a constructed, it's like a bunch of gold, but it's being held together by like some mid-scotch tape or something like that. It just seems discombobulated. So I feel like the Yankees, I don't know, man. I don't know. And now it leaves the top two. And I think you can guess the Rays. Taking advantage of Garrett Cole being out. 
Rays start out hot again. And they come out and finish with 90 wins on the year again. Getting to the playoffs again for the second straight year. And last but not least, the, come on, all right, are we, are we not going to work? The Baltimore Orioles, 95 wins, also taking advantage of the Yankees being uh, shorthanded and getting 95 wins. So this is my updated ALE standings. Finally, you know, I, I, if, it, if it happens again, if something else happens during the season, listen, I'm only doing this one time. I'm only doing this once. I can't afford to just keep updating every single standing when it happens. So this is this is final. This is this is it. I'm not changing nothing else. But it doesn't stop here. Right. So you see these standings right here. Now that would make my postseason bracket inaccurate. Right. Because, hold on, as you can see, this was my, you know, now old postseason bracket. Yankees with 95 wins were the number one seed. That is no longer correct. So, we have to fix it. So, this, we're going to do this live. We're going to do this live. So, now, because of... The, the standings, some teams move around and some teams now move up, some teams move down, and some teams move out. So, coming in first with 95 wins, I know you might think the Astros. Uh -uh. I'm just going to stick to it. We got the Baltimore Orioles at the number one seed. Come on, number one. Let's get All right, was that a sign? We're gonna we're gonna look. The camera cuts out right as I say one seed. A am I right or will I be wrong? We'll never know. <sighs> we'll look back on that. Next, coming in the two spot, we got. The Astros, you know what I'm saying? Same old, same old, same old deal. Three seed, the AL Central champions, the Minnesota Twins. You know what I'm saying? Now the four seed. This is where stuff shakes up. So now you don't really know where teams stay. This is kind of like, oh, shoot. So now because one team fell down in the Yankees, it, it came to the Texas Rangers to take that four seed. I don't know if I had them in the four seed again. I think I had them in the five in the last bracket. So they do move up. And now in the five seed. This is because the Jays moved out. There are some teams around the league that now can take a spot. And the team that's going to take the spot, the Tampa Bay Rays. From the depths. From the depths. I didn't have them in the playoffs. I am in fourth. I am next to the Boston Red Sox. They are now fifth seed. And once again facing the Texas Rangers. Very familiar opponent. Now the sixth seed. <laughs> there are some teams left. You know what I'm saying? Now if you refer back to my video, you might be able to figure it out. But the teams left. I'll just give you three of them. It is the Yankees, the Guardians, and the Seattle Mariners. And uh, there's only one team that could face the Twins at the six. And that is the New York Yankees. Unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? Garrett Cole being out wasn't enough for the Yankees to miss the playoffs. I still got them making the playoffs. And... Uh, Going on to uh, play the Twins in the first round in the wild card round, where they will eventually. We're just gonna go right into it. They're gonna beat the Twins. This is goes without saying. This is death taxes and the Yankees beating the Twins every year in the playoffs. You can bet your bet your bottom dollar. Now we got 
four versus five. We got Rangers versus Rays. I got the Rangers coming out of the dub. So now we move to, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. We got Orioles Rangers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I had them. Now, this is the... Now, it's different, though. Because you got to understand. I had them last bracket. We're going to the last bracket. I had them in a wild card round. Where it's three games. Three games. Like, best of three. Orioles playing at home. But now, you got the DS. We got five games. Oh my gosh. Do I go back on my choice? You know what? Nah. Nope. Nope. Orioles. W. Big W. Beating the Rangers. Astros, Yankees. Come on now. This... This is, oh man, y'all gonna love me. If, 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 if this series happens, listen, y'all, if this series happens, y'all, listen. My B, y'all, my B. This was, uh, listen, let me know, let, sidetrack, let me know any cameras that are good for, like, continuous filming, because my camera keeps dying out, like, it's, it's a whole system that I gotta figure it out, but, like, my camera just keeps dying if I don't, like, press the button, so let me know if y'all got any camera suggestions for me, so I can, you know, get a new camera, but, listen, back to it, if Yankees versus Astros happens, let's see, I'm gonna tell you right now, we might Listen, we might have to go to a game. We might have to go to the to a game. It could be in in New York, or it could be in Houston. Listen, we might have to we might have to pull up on them. But for it, for this series, you already know the firewall of the Houston Astros still gonna reign supreme. Beat the Yankees again. Yes, indeed. All right. I'm I'm a little OCD with this. All right, that's that's the best it's gonna get. Now it's the same deal. We got Orioles versus the Astros, but this time Orioles have home field advantage. I know the Astros are a road team. I know last bracket. Look, Orioles were a four seed, so by default Astros got home field advantage. But now they have the one seed. And the Astros are great on the road. But <sighs> you know what? I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to stick to my guns. Astros fans, y'all, listen, I'm going to be honest. Like, as much as I love the Astros fans, I do not, I do not hold back when, I, when I'm going to pick against y'all. Listen, I know we, we got a connection, but listen, I'm very close. Very close to picking against you guys. Very close. And I'm just keeping it real. Because, I, listen, I, I don't want to sugarcoat nothing just because y'all y'all definitely my most uh, like supportive fan base. Listen. And for that reason, you know what I'm saying? I I do think sometimes, like, Maybe they might get beat, but not in that situation. And now we go to the World Series where they face the Braves, and I think I'm going to keep it as is. So emergency press conference over. We got the Braves over the Astros in the World Series still. But as you can see, the playoff bracket is shook up, and the standings are shook up. So, yeah, this is the final bracket. I'm not doing this again. I'll be damned if I do this again. So if there's any other injuries or mishaps down the line, listen, we're just going to have to <laughs> just let this one run. So it's been your boy, Jay Banksy, and I will see you when I see you. Peace.